Love Talk Radio. What's up, guys? Thank you so much for tuning in to Real Talk, Real Plans with your girl, Riri. It's me today. So get ready. You know how we do. I have a visitor at my door. What do you need, son? You brought what, thing? No, it's Sunday. You can't turn off until 10? It doesn't come on until 10. All right. <laughs> Sorry for the interruption, you guys. Oh, my God. You guys would not believe that I just got off of an author chat um, from a series that I absolutely love. Um, The name of the series is the Night Series. Let me see if I can pronounce her last name. I hope she don't be mad at me because I just told her I was buying the books. I'm going to send them to her so she could sign them and get them back to me because I'm so excited. Oh my God. So anyway, it's a three book series. It's about a female assassin and I mean, female assassin? Need I say more? Really? Um, Her name is Yasmin Ango and it was amazing. The whole series was amazing and so um, yeah, uh, I don't, I, I don't even know what else to say. All right. So I'm back in the studio. Uh, the microphone has been backwards this whole time and nobody was going to tell me, <sighs> you know, I'm really starting to think y'all all are against me some days. Okay. So I'm going to, uh, start off with our regular stuff. Now that I'm back, thank you so much for tuning in to Real Talk, Real Plans. I'm so sorry for the delay and the distractions. Um, my girl Coco has been living her best life. You know, last week she went to, um, last week she went on a cruise and was living her best life. And then this weekend she went to a scrapbook retreat and I am instantly jealous. She's like, but you don't scrapbook. I'm like, so what? (laughs) I still want to go. Um, so you know, it's just me tonight, but I have lots and lots and lots of stuff plant. Um, of course, the first thing I have is what's in my cup. And I just made a piping hot cup of coffee. And I'm really excited. Um, this is the end of my vanilla caramel creamer. So um, we ordered some new creamer today. I think it was like mocha something. Anyway, I'm excited to try it. Um, and I don't know if I told you guys, but for my birthday, I got um I got a coffee subscription and um in the subscription you get like six different types of local copies coffees and so my next coffee subscription should be here tomorrow so I'm really excited to try some new they're not local coffees I'm lying I'm lying I didn't mean it. they come to me but they are from like all over like this last one just came from uh, um, Columbia, I believe. And so I'm really excited to see where the next one comes from. Um, okay. So the name of tonight's episode is Let Bygones Be Bygones. And I know you're like, what is she talking about? So I'm just going to get right to it. Or maybe I should wait. Maybe I'll wait. Um, first, I'll talk about a couple of things. All these sales going on. Did you shop any sales? I mean, there is the Pink Planner sale. There is the Planner Boss Collective sale. I mean, I'm like, what in the world? Um, It's so many. I have so many carts that I will um, 
just be looking at tonight to see if I definitely want to try and shop. Um, I have a cart for planning. Uh, no, I have a shop for Frolic and Brain. I have a shop for a type A for, I mean, a cart for a type A for Alexa. I have a top. Uh, cart for Season Inc. I mean, it's just so many different shops. I don't know what all there is to do. Um, but speaking of sales, let me get my handy dandy notebook out. Um, so did you see Kane from Print Pression? Did you see his video? He has. Um, he has released a video basically being very transparent and is saying that print pressure is bankrupt. Now, I know lots and lots of people who love Kane and, um, um, are devastated by this, right? Um, so he has everything on sale for 50% off. What I really loved about it was that he was transparent in saying that he had been doing everything in his power to kind of, um, you know, keep it afloat, like, you know, not paying himself a salary, um, after all these years of being able to do that. And he basically has a home and doesn't want to lose his home. He was very transparent about being in his, re- being in a relationship, um, and always being a part of something. And now it's just him and how he was basically depressed and how life be life in. And so it was really, really devastating to um it was really really devastating to see how the hurt in his face you know what i'm saying like you could really tell that he was really sad and you could tell that print pression is like a, a love of his so if you can, go on over to Print Pression. I'm not an affiliate or anything. I, I don't even think the man knows my name, but go on over and support. In the same vein, man, Passion Planner. Now, I know a lot of y'all are Passion Planner girlies or guys, right? Um, They basically get you right together. They had a post. Um, Let me see if I can read it to you. Um, um, They had a post, and I was surprised that it was sent to me. It was sent to me by my good friend, Candice, playing with CCK. Um, I like the fact that people keep me in the loop, you know, because sometimes I'll be out of it. So it says, Dear Pash Fam, first and foremost, thank you for your continued support. We know many of you have been waiting patiently for your orders, and we want to sincerely apologize for the delays or order issues. We value transparency and have an update for all of you on our fulfillment and shipping situation. And so I'm like, hmm, now you got to swipe. Our current fulfillment company has officially declared bankruptcy, and unfortunately, leading up to this, they've been dishonest with us, other clients, and their business partners. We're currently sorting through the aftermath of their lies and working through discrepancies. This has been a tough situation to handle, and our team is doing everything we can to get our operations running smoothly again. We've been working nonstop to find a new reliable fulfillment company with a strong track record. And guess what? We found one. We have officially signed a contract with the company that values reliability and speed just as much as we do. 
to move all of our inventory order over as accurately, as efficiently as possible. They will be pausing orders for the new week. I mean, for the next week. So effective January 26th, which I think this is yesterday, um, um, checkout will not be available. And they hope to restart orders again on February 2nd. Um, so if your order was placed in the last two weeks, the people on site will be working to get your package out within the next week or so. Um, but for orders with uh, extended delays, they ask for your patience. Now, I know that was a lot to take in. Um, I know it was. But at least, at least they were they they told the truth. It kind of reminds me of, I mean, and, and and let me just say this, at least they didn't have no excuse, right? They didn't come with, oh, the post office isn't selling. Um, um, the post office isn't selling. They aren't, you know, you know, they just basically told you, our manufacturer fucked up and they lied to us. So, they doing what they can um to 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 be transparent and let you guys know um i don't know if i don't think it means that you need to hoard your passion planner dailies because i know so many people who absolutely love those um i don't think it means you need to hoard them i just think you know use the one that you have the same way you've been using it and then They'll be ready for you. Now, does this mean that Pi Day won't happen? I don't know because we were talking last night, and Pi Day is usually about, like, overstock, um, things that they always send out to, like, at swag and stuff like that. So I think Pi Day will still be safe. If you're not familiar with Pi Day, it's March 14th. It's right before the Ides of March. And um, they sell their planners for $3.14. A little birdie just told me that Kane will be back. Um, in uh, the middle of the year. Um, so don't don't worry about it. He say he he coming back, so he's just trying to revamp, get the money he can to make stuff happen for right now. So yeah, just be sure to go and check him out. That will be, you know, I'm sure he appreciates the support, and you know that's what this, you know, this community is all about, um, supporting uh, people. Um, okay, so let's talk about these bygones being bygones. The first thing I want to address is all things by Keisha. Now, I know I talk a lot about this shop and I know it gets old and you get tired of hearing it, but here I am to finally just be done with it. And I'm letting bygones be bygones, right? So if you don't know, I play, I used to be on all things by Keisha's PR team. I placed an order August the 3rd. I also placed another one at the beginning of September. I have seen video after video of people not receiving their order. Um, Keisha had some health issues, some mental health issues that she had to take care of, some physical health issues that she had to take care of. And um, through it all, I was very supportive. Um, she has gotten into it with so many people in the planner community, big names. So many people have said, you know, she's a liar. She's a manipulator. She's um, people have come up to me at different planner events saying that she said that she was going to be the speaker there, the keynote speaker there. Um, they've said that, um, she's, she's 
had them get on the phone with the post office and say that the post office is doing it. Um, the post office isn't sending stuff out. And let's see. It's just it's just irritating. It's just aggravating. Let's just call it what it is. And um I don't bad mouth her. I don't I, I just say don't order from her, right? Um because I don't know when you're gonna get it. I took my name off of it. I have tried to remove any post that specifically was advertising for her shop because I don't want my name or my brand attached to it. Um, And so I finally reached out again because my wife was like, hey, we placed this order. Where are your stickers? And I'm not liking it. And I'm like, okay, I'll ask. Well, you guys, I got the first order. Something was missing. I messaged her and then asked her about the second order. And so she said that she'd check it. She'd give me a tracking number. Of course, she did not um, give me a tracking number. But you guys, I would be remiss in not telling you that my stickers from All Things by Keisha actually showed up. Yep, all of them. The ones from August. Let me remind you that today is January 28th of 2024. I ordered these stickers August the 3rd of 2023. But they were all there. During the time that I asked her about where my stickers are. Oh, let me drink some coffee. I ain't had no coffee since I've been old, y'all. <laughs> What y'all drinking? Anybody going to call in? Let me give you the number to call. The number is 515-602-9680. Okay. So, um, I, um, I got all my stuff. Now, when I was asking her about getting the stickers, she specifically said, can you, will you be back on my PR team? Now, y'all, let me find it so I don't lie because I try not to lie on Sundays. Okay. She said... She said, hey, love, would you be interested in returning back to the PR team? And I did check your order. It's already shipped. I can issue a, um, I did check your order already shipped. I can issue a gift card or reship the missing items. Let me know. I said, no worries about the missing items from the previous order. It's fine. As long as the other order has shipped. This is mid-January. She says, it has, and I'll give you the tracking number when I get back to my computer. Okay. So I did not address the returning back to the team because I don't want to be mean. Because y'all know I'm just messy. I'm not malicious. That's just not who I am um, anymore. <laughs> Let me clarify. That is not who I am anymore. Okay? It takes um, a lot of hard work to to be a better person and to not necessarily say what's on my mind all the time. Um, And I'm getting to an age where I really am on that fuck it juice. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just don't care. But I don't don't want nobody to mistreat me, so I don't want to mistreat nobody. So I just said, hey, boss lady, I got to be honest. I'm not feeling being on your PR team. Um, The orders really disappointed me. And with the wait time, and so many people got theirs before me, I still, I can't fake it like I'm still not mad. And so my question is to you, did I handle that correctly? What would you have done if she asked you to be on their PR teams? Uh, Let me see. Let me check the chat. (laughs) Um, Um... My little birdies tweeted that they love me. 
Um, and she said, damn, almost six months. Hell no. Um, I, you know, I just couldn't do it, y'all. I just can't. And I said it in such a way that it was like, perhaps later, but I'm never going to do it. I really, you know, I'm really kind of over PR team. I'm really excited about being on the Frolic and Brains PR team because I actually love the products, but I don't want to, um, I don't want to, um, I, I don't want to be forced to do something, use a product that I don't really love or the business practices that I don't appreciate. The Cuteness Boutique, we, you know, we use what we can and we tag her and that's it. It's not, um, it's no pressure. You know what I'm saying? Um, with Frolic and Brains, it's like three times a month. It's no pressure. But I use and share because that's what I was doing anyway. And that's what it takes. It's just a little bit of support. Oh, my God. Speaking of support. Oh. Okay. 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 <laughs> These authors, Emily and Nicole. Oh, let me see. Let me see if I can find their name. I think it's Emily and Nicole Cox. I might have made that up. I might have made that up. Anywho, they wrote a book called The Other Side of Together. And um, I absolutely love those ladies. I don't know them um, very well. I mean, I never met them in person. But they shouted me out and I love it and that's what I'm talking about it made me feel so good because that's what support is all about it don't take nothing to support your friends I'm not asking somebody to listen to every one of my episodes I'm not asking somebody to you know call in every episode I'm just asking you to share it tell a friend to tell a friend you know that support are there other planner podcasts absolutely do I like and share their stuff? Absolutely. Have they ever liked mine? No. But I'm not going to block my blessings because of that. They will comment and subscribe. And I mean, they will comment if I say something about them, but they've never just taken it out of their way to, to you know, comment. The way I see it is it... it if somebody had to tell me when I was doubting myself at the very beginning, it's a million loaves of bread on the shelf. And when it's snow, all of them get gone. Um, and so when I saw the way that I found those ladies, um, Emily and Nicole Cox. Yes, I think that's it. But they are, um, the name of the book is The Other Side of Together. The way that I found them is they were reading letters from publishers who basically turned them down, saying no, that they would not publish their books. And they took a very lighthearted approach. And I know how tough that had to be. They have been working on this book for forever. And it finally, finally came out. And they call me their super fan because I literally like, share, comment, and friend says everything they do is that take I'm already scrolling when I see my friends post I put y'all in my favorites my close friends I like it I share it and I save it how much time do that take you're already spending all of your free time scrolling anyway so What's the problem? Uh, JC said, but we do listen to your show. I mean, to every one of your episodes. And JC has been streaming it on the YouTube platform. And I'm really excited about that. So thanks. shout out to all y'all listening, wherever you can listen, whether you're listening on Spotify or Apple or YouTube. I did that because I listened directly um, to you guys to, to say where you, you know, wanted to listen Danny said, 
No, I handled that very well with the All Things by Keisha. I was honest and I let her know that I am with it or didn't want to be attached to the bullshit. And that is the truth. I don't want to do that. I don't want my name attached to it. Um, oh, that's so cute. Um. <laughs> Cindy says, quickly would have said, no, thank you. Can't be on no one's PR team and you take forever and a day to ship stuff out. That's the truth. Um, And, you know, there's one other shop that I used to PR for that I really, really loved. It was the first shop that I ever PR for. Um, And it was Playing Your Spoons. And I loved, loved the shop, what it stood for and everything. And she took a long time. But she was a spoonie, and so I think there was a lot more grace given there. But after a while, it was kind of like, ooh, I don't know. Um, Monica says, "This is my brand. My this is my brand is me. So I am only part of PR teams that I can truly love and support without the discount." Yes, yes, that's the truth. I only want to be attached to a brand that I love, even when there isn't, uh, even if there, I mean, I would shop anyway, because y'all my peoples, you know what I'm saying? And I love the product. We're going to shop anyway. Shopping, shopping is what we do. Um, But I have been on Operation Shop My Stash and I have not been shopping. I have not decided if I'm on a no spin or if I'm just not shopping. I mean, just shopping my stash. But it seems to be I'm on a no spin because I ain't got nothing to spin. That sounded like bars. Speaking of bars, have y'all heard his? Have you heard what Megan is talking about? How do you feel about that? What are you talking about? For those of you who don't know, Megan the Stallion. Megan the Stallion came out with... Um, kiss like a snake kiss and she released a video and in the um in the lyrics there were several um clapbacks um that we are just going to assume were directed at Nicki Minaj um there was one regarding Megan's Law which if you're not familiar, Megan's Law is a law about sex offenders and having to um, report that you are a sex offender um, because Nicki Minaj is, of course, married to a sex offender and just had a baby with a sex offender. And so Nicki Minaj has been talking lots and lots and lots of shit about Megan and her foot and getting shot by Tory Lanez and just, you know, a 40-year-old obsessed with a 20-something-year-old is just really disgusting, right? Like, at 40, don't we have shit to do? Don't we have shit to do at 40? I know I do. I got shit to do. I got stuff like, and, and you got a kid. I got stuff like homework to do with my baby. We got to sit down and do some shit. I don't have time to be talking about your feet. And then going to call her Bigfoot. Like, ma'am, I, I'm offended because I, too, have big feet. It's okay. That just means it's big enough for me to um, uh, keep putting it on your neck. Because, ma'am, what? <laughs> what? So I know the barbs are out there pissed. I know the barbs are out there pissed. Monica says, <laughs> Monica says, I'm here for it. I can't stand Nikki. If you bored, go fuck your man. Stop and leave that 20 year old little girl alone. Okay. Um, Danny also says Megan snapped and she is here for it. And oh, hey, Bianca, welcome to the chat, girl. She said, his is fire, and the shots fired at Drake have me weak every time. Nikki is definitely putting her money up her nose. Oh, hell yeah. Um, But wait, Drake? I didn't I didn't know about the, the Drake shots. I need to listen to, to it again. I need somebody to, to uh break it down for me like I am 
uh, too, so I can understand. But the name of the show is By Gods Be By Gods, and that is one of them. Let By Gods Be By Gods. She came back. She she only came back to protect herself. Now leave her alone, Nikki. Leave her alone, Nikki. It's time. It's time. So there's one other thing that I want to talk about. I know this is bad news. Let me drink some coffee. <sighs> I feel like I've just been chatting a mile a minute. Um, and then we're going to talk about some routines that'll make me happy. Mm. Mm. Okay. So I was really excited to announce that we were going to have um, Kristen Ennis on the show um, as we talked about. <laughs> I'm sorry. The BBL scars and the new accent every week is about Drake. Okay. Yeah. Drake, Drake got booty. Yeah. And curves. Dang. I can't stand a, a man with hips. Well, I can't stand a man with hips. It is weird. Um, <laughs> Monica says, Megan, don't mess with my Degrassi boy. Oh. Um, okay. So I know that we were really excited to have Kristen Ennis on to talk about Big and Betty and this super feud that they had going on. However, I'm not sure if you caught her stories, but um, I did not, but she messaged me and said that she, being Kristen, said that she would not be coming on the show to discuss Beg and Betty. She said that ultimately she can't control her and that it is no point in her focusing on her, um, she can't change her. And so... This um so afterwards I went to look at her stories and now I will read it to you. Um I'm assuming this is I really appreciate everyone's support and follows. Some of y'all I laugh with and we share stories, memes, reply to stories, etc. For that I'm really grateful. Now that that is out of the way. I originally brought up the woman. She's talking about Beg and Betty. She originally brought up Beg and Betty to warn the planner community about her. I called her out by name because if a woman is lying and begging, y'all should know exactly who it is. I left it alone until she brought my name up, cursing me out, calling me degrading things and saying racist stuff. When that was said, I will defend myself. With that said, a week ago, she did a stream, and yes, we all had a good laugh, and sh and I let it go. Then a couple of days later, she said some vile shit about me and a friend of mine. I then went to her stream to confront her because that's who I am. I am not like you all. I don't go watch these women's videos when she goes live. I am only made aware when I'm sent clips of her if she brings me up. I don't go to her Instagram because I can't. I'm blocked. Some of you have only ever talked to me to bring me tea, have not tried to get to know me or what I do here, and that's okay, but it tells me more about you. I do not need to agree with how she had her partner, how she and her partner talk to each other, how they raise their child, how they clean their home, and don't clean their home, but it's not my, but it's not my business to speak on it every time it's shown. You all have the same platform I do, and you are free to do the exposing. It feels like you just bring me something to keep it going. Well, I'm here to tell you I am not the one. This has not affected my mental health in any way, shape, or form. But do y'all, do any of y'all think, wait, what? Man, I need some glasses, y'all. But do it? Do any of y'all they, I think she's trying to say, have any of y'all thought about um, what it could be, what bringing all this to me could possibly do? Her life is chaotic and bringing me chaos isn't healthy. What makes it worse is that you make the choice to bring it to me. If you are only here to bring me her stuff and it has nothing to do with me, then please unfollow me. The bakery would love to have you. 
Now, this is the last time that I will say something unless something new comes up. And so that was, I'm assuming it was Tuesday. Um, that's kind of where it falls in my picture. So that was Tuesday. And so that was Krista. And so I feel like it really went with the whole let bygones be bygones thing. Um, there are a couple of things that I will say um, in regards to it. I also don't follow Big and Betty, but I am here to report the news. This is what I do. So I do appreciate any updates that we can find. <laughs> I do appreciate, you know, knowing what's going on. Um, she begging and people are getting taken advantage of. And I just think, you know, it's like a train wreck. I don't ever talk about her household and what it looks like. I don't ever talk about her parenting skills. I don't ever talk about her and her husband because I don't care about that. Only thing I cared about was her ending up with a no teeth cover and how, how, Sway, how. So um, I can appreciate that. Um, So in other words, little birdies, please don't stop letting me know <laughs> what's going on there because I would love to know. Um she changes her name every two weeks. So if you if you can find her. I don't I just don't know. Um, um as far as Kristen and it not affecting her mental health, I can absolutely understand knowing when something is going to um affect your mental health before it does um because while it doesn't affect it now hearing that negativity spewed about you over and over again it absolutely does take a toll on you being threatened on live um in front of people who may or may not have supporters is definitely scary you know what i'm saying um you never know who on that live is um, you never know who is crazy enough to go support the 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 big and Betty chick and and try to harm Kristen you know because of it um anonymous says i think it's a bummer that this person changed their mind after i announced it but in terms of talking about it or not to each their own yeah 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 i even had asked a friend to make a graphic for me and that's what i'm talking about silent support i really love that um i had asked a friend to make a graphic you know you know i don't really do graphics much y'all um i just you know, do my little screenshot and, you know, make it happen. Um, so I am, I was kind of bummed. I was kind of bummed about that. But, you know, I actually thought about actually inviting Big and Betty to the podcast to see what she has to say, not about anybody, but about being someone who has no shame in asking um, for things that she wants. I mean, she likes the spotlight. She would probably love to be on the show. Um, you know, so I don't know. Um, she uh, also, Kristen had announced it on her live that she had that night that she was going to be on the podcast. Um, so I know that it, it it wasn't easy. I'm assuming. I don't know her. Um, it wasn't easy for her to... Um, to cancel or to even stop talking about it um so i don't know um i just i hope that the people who were there just for the mess um you know i hope they leave kristen alone and they aren't being double agents and that kind of stuff um Monica says, my mom says, when you hang out with dogs on the street, you end up with fleas. And that is the truth. You can't keep hanging out with the bottom of the barrel. And and that'll, yeah. Um, 
that'll drag you down every time. <laughs> and when I was a kid, I didn't really understand it. But that whole, you know, birds of a feather thing really does kind of people think it. it's not necessarily true, but people think it. And then you end up, like you say, with the fleas from the other dogs. So um, I guess that is Kristen's way of letting bygones be bygones. Um, I'm not sure if the other person who was posting a lot um, with, uh, wait, um, if she's going to do it. So Kristen's response to me, uh, message to me was, hey, y'all, I hate to do this, but I'm going to have to pull out of the podcast. I put up some stories last night saying that I'm done with this and going round and round doesn't solve anything. I feel like doing the podcast will just keep everything going and it's not what I want. When I agreed to it, everything was still going. I can't stop her from bringing me up, but I can't control what I do. Do I think she will stop? I'm not sure. And at this point, I can't keep count or score on... Um, I can't keep count or score on her. I do apologize for pulling out, but someone has to be the bigger person here. And so I can definitely appreciate, you know, um, you know, I, I appreciate her pulling out and not just ghosting me. I can't say that. Um, but it's like, man, dang. Um, so now looking for somebody else for February the 4th. If there's anybody you guys would like for me to try to get for the fourth, then let me know. I know that February 3rd, this Saturday coming up is Galentine's with a Plan. It's hosted by Planners and Tacos. And I know lots of people um, will be there. I've actually heard that Kane will be there. So I'm excited to possibly get a chance to meet him and see what he says. So y'all, I know we be talking about planners and stuff, but I guess this kind of counts. I am in a group, and the group, a post came up, and the girl was like, hey, there's a post going on in this other group, and if you see it, that's not true. And I'm like, what? So, of course, I go to the comments to try and figure out what's going on. Here is the original post. It's in a group called Coloring Books, Journals, Planners, and More. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry, y'all. Hold on. The author says, Uh Uh-oh, y'all, I'm lost. Okay, the author says, so I don't normally, I don't usually do this. In more than 15 years of servicing you ladies, my name has never been attached to any drama. Well, I guess it's my turn. Understand that the only reason I'm addressing this is because the action of one person affected so many people and only three of us know the real story. So in this group, all the moderators apparently were gone. So she says, yes, the group moderators are gone. And here's why. On Friday morning, now listen, y'all, it's a doozy. Because I was like, what? On Friday morning, I noticed that one of my moderators had copied my entire business model. Not only did she do that, But as she was advertising her coloring page manuscripts and bundles, she was tearing mine down in the process. She apologized and blamed her actions on her being autistic and having ADHD. I could have removed her then, but I care, even when it's not my turn to care. I'm not a messy person, so I never told the other mods what she had done. Long story short, this other... I don't want to say no names. Um, We'll just call her Princess. Princess and I created an entire business model for her and even told her how to execute it. We thought everything was fine until last night. Last night, she came into the moderator group chat and presented a business idea that involved her 
creating a new chat for us. She created the chat without my knowledge and added all of the admin team except for Princess and I. I casually asked a question about the business endeavor. And as an afterthought, she said, oh, did you want to be a part of this? I'll add you. She then gave quite a few reasons why she thought I didn't want to be included. I started to decline because I don't go where I'm not wanted. But I did join the group only to realize that the entire moderator team had been in there with her, chopping it up about all types of things for the last 12 hours. Personal things that bond women together, business ideas that they plan to execute as a team, etc. What other mods didn't know, um, hold on, I lost it. What other mods didn't know was that she was in the group literally repeating my words, my plans, and my business advice. My first thought was to remove her from my mod team, but here's why that wasn't enough. Because at that point, she had already used and manipulated the other mods to join her team for this new endeavor. Again, the messages in her group chat showed me that they had already formed an allegiance to each other. To remove her and keep them would mean that the other mods would be stuck in the middle, playing both sides until something is forced them, someone forced them to choose. To protect my brand, I chose for them and removed them all. For the last 12 hours, I have been dealing with one or more of the mods sending people to attack my business page, sending people in the group to comment little petty, petty stuff on my post, posting childish things in the group like it would be approved. Again, the only reason why I'm addressing this is because there were casualties of war. (laughs) Six moderators had to suffer because of her actions. I'm sure she isn't woman enough to tell them that they were a pawn in her plan, but perhaps they will figure it out eventually. Baby, Y'all got drama in the coloring book world, too? I mean, how you just going to steal that lady thing? How you just going to steal that lady idea? I, um, this is a, a group of people who create coloring books and journals and things like so they give a lot of advice on how to sell these things so you might put up your uh, a coloring page or something that chat gpt or ai has created for you that you plan on selling and you can post it in there and they'll give you advice on it and all of this stuff and so I can understand not wanting to be, uh, I don't know. I guess it's like, why do you need to create another, I don't know. I guess, I don't know. I ain't no entrepreneur though. But I guess my question is, if you created a group chat, a separate group chat, and you didn't want the uh, admins in there, why would you, if you wanted them in there, you would have just put the link in there. And everybody who wanted to join could have joined. Like, it does seem real sketchy for you to say, um, I I didn't, I'm, I wasn't trying to leave you out, but you sent the link to everyone. But um, um, but not include the moderator who helped you and it's her group. I don't know. That's just sketchy (laughs) no I am not secretly working on a coloring book (laughs) I am no I don't I mean I know people who have been encouraging us to get merchandise and I have you know we had the pens that we gave out during um you know a couple of giveaways on the show stuff like that but I just can't imagine you know selling stuff and having to beat people up because you're stealing my idea. Uh-uh, uh-uh. But
But I get it. It's a million loaves of bread on the shelf. However, you can't take everything that I have and just reduplicate it for yourself. You have to be creative and come up with your own stuff, especially when I didn't gave you what I could. So I just, I don't know. It's a lot. It's a lot. These planner, creative, journal, streets, it's a lot, y'all. I even found a whole channel on YouTube about crocheting drama. You are literally crocheting. Why is there drama? Oh, we got a caller. Let's see who it is. Caller, you're on the air. Hi, gorgeous. It's Danny. <laughs> Hi, Danny. Welcome hey, to the hey. show. Thank you for answering my call. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> I just wanted to come on and say that I am digging the show. I'm loving the topic. I'm loving the vibe. And I'm loving the flow. And I feel like it is the perfect, like, title to close out the very first month of a new year. Let bygones be bygones. I'm here for Yes. It. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving good. it. Yeah. So I'm loving what, it. Um, so what do you think about the whole trying to steal someone's business model and all of that with their people? I think it's mad lazy. Like, it's lazy and it's snakish, but I feel like it's more so lazy than snakish because you put in no effort to even try to be sneaky about it. Like, you legit took an idea that that person helps you with and then you're trying to take their people like let, let's put in a little bit of extra work here grow your own team bro yes like let, let's let's just let's not sit up here and try to take the easy way out which i know that that's probably like the point like they want to get to the top as quickly as they can without putting in the extra work energy and effort however that was the dumbest thing ever because how did you think you weren't going to get caught and <laughs> jc said i think it's sketchy and i think the real issue is even letting her in to witness everything like she wasn't going to go back and read in the beginning. <laughs> exactly. I don't know if she thought it was like a Zoom chat, like when that person come in, they don't see the previous messages, but no, nah, baby, that's not how Facebook chats and IG chats work. I don't understand. I don't get what, I don't know. Maybe homegirl just was tired and she wasn't thinking things through. Maybe she was a little tipsy. Who knows? You never know. But... um she ain't think that one through, and I think it worked out the way that it was supposed to work out. Like, get your own ideas, get your own, put the blood, sweat, and tears in, and build your own brand. No, let's 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 not do let's let's leave the scamming in 2023, please, please. Please. Now here go the messy part. Now here go the messier part. When she posted it in the other group and said, if y'all see this post in the other group, that's not true. That's not how it happened. The first comment I saw was somebody going, nah, sis, you've been sketchy for a long time. And pulled up some receipts. <laughs> somebody else said, yeah, yeah, I don't know if you remember me, but we were supposed to work together a couple of years back and you ghosted me. Man, one thing about that reputation. A, listen, <laughs> this is a pattern. This is a pattern now. So, yeah, I just, who child? Who I mean, child? see, it seemed like homegirl was getting away with being sketchy for a while. But one thing about it, you can only keep on running before it catches up with you. And I think it finally caught up with her because I believe that group you're talking about is like a really big group on Facebook, I think. It's um, huge. Yeah. So her, and lots she done of got people exposed. Got this, yeah, and lots of people got they start in there. I mean, I, I've Googled some people's names, you know, just in the group 
through conversations just to see what their you know, what their path is before I even fool with them. And yeah, yeah, it'll it it mm-hmm. it's in all your business. I just say that <laughs> it's all your business. Um, okay, and one more question: What? Um, I guess we'll get to the plan stuff because I just been talking about mess this whole time, honey. I um, mean, messy, not malicious. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> what routines have you implemented this week that have worked for you? Ooh, what routines have I implemented? Um, how can I don't really know. Like. I guess the biggest thing that I implemented starting this year was definitely getting back into my devotional reading. Ooh. Um, it's something that I really, really was big on um, trying to get into this year because I just want to build that spiritual version of myself, you know, between me and my father God. <laughs> uh, so that's one thing. And another thing is I'm really, really implementing self-care and not self-care in like reading or planning or journaling, which nothing is wrong with that. Of course, that is a amazing version of self-care, but more of the physical parts of me. Like I'm really trying to work on myself, stuff that I don't really like. Um, you know, like I have really dry skin, so I'm trying to implement more moisturizers to try to deal, to work with that. I'm trying to grow my hair. You know, I'm just trying to do different things. So I am implementing like daily things to help with that as well. So I think those are like the two main new situations I got going on. I love that. Um, As far as my routines, um, also anybody else, if you have a routine that you have implemented this week or plan to implement next week, um, we can talk about it because we're going to focus on routines, y'all. I'm not moving from this topic until we get a hang on it. Okay. A hang (laughs) on it. Hang on it, whatever. You get my point. We got I to know you better. down. Um, so one of the routines that I have been trying to get down is waking up when my alarm goes off. Mm, not hitting that snooze button. Not hitting the snooze button. And so I have two. One that goes off at about seven thirty and one that goes off by eight o'clock. I am trying very hard to actually get up, like don't put the phone down. Even if I just get on the phone and and open it, at least I know Mm -hmm. I'm alert. Um, But I want to get up at 8 o'clock. I really want to get up at 730, but I'm working on it. I'm working on it. That is my goal. Mm -hmm. Um, And I'm really working on, kind of like you, I'm really working on um, a facial routine, um, mm-hmm. I'm old and I got a beard and, you know, you pluck that beard and, you know, sometimes you get pockmarks or whatever. And I just need to make sure that my face is, you know, looking pretty and, and moisturized and, you know, I just want to take better care of my skin as it ages. Um, I love you know. that. I really do love that, but I am so mad at you for saying a beard. Like, why? Because <laughs> I got a beard, bro. <laughs> I don't believe you. I have never, out of all the times I have spoken with you, I have never seen a beard on your face, sis. Of course You're not, not, because I got to get rid of it. <laughs> when I can feel it. And then when I get in the car, now listen, ladies, y- y'all can laugh if you want to, but I haven't seen enough women when I pull up next to them in the car looking in that mirror and they see that chin hair and then they be trying to pluck it. I keep tweezers in my wallet. I keep tweezers in your car. I keep tweezers in purse and my makeup bag. It's going to be some tweezers because someone you're going to get somewhere and you're going to see that chin hair. You just keep on living, baby. Keep on living. Oh, no, living. I got it. Now that I'm, t- you know, you 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 got it because you you called me out and I, I hit dogs holler our roof, um because me sitting in the car I have this one mole under my chin and it grows one freaking hair and I I'm have to pluck. To tell you. I'm trying to tell you. So um, but you know having PCOS, um. It, it it causes you to grow more facial hair, 
And mm-hmm. I mean, I know it's frowned upon. I know it's looked down upon, but it's something natural. And we as women, we don't talk about those things. We don't talk about menopause. We don't talk about our cycles. We don't talk about, you know, unwanted hairs and stuff like that. But, you know, yes. I'm doing it scared. I got a beard. I have to take care of it. I hope that you can be honest and take care of it also. <laughs> A thousand percent. I honestly, I I love that because like you said, it's not talked about enough. And there are, are, there are a lot of us as women, even in some of us in our big ages, like I'm about to be 33. And there are still things that I didn't know that were normal that I go through. I just feel like, oh no, I'm something's wrong with my body. I'm, I'm, it's having this issue. It's having that issue. That's not normal because I never hear about it, but I think you bringing light to certain situations will help people understand that they're not alone. It is normal (laughs) and it's something that should be embraced because it is natural. So I applaud it. I love it. And I just love you. I love you. All right. We got another caller. Well, I'm going to hop off in. I enjoy talking to you, boo. You too. Talk to you tomorrow. All right. Bye. 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 Hello, caller. You're on the air. Hi, Erica. It's Monica. Hi, Monica. Penny Pincher Planner. Oh, that was, I'm yes. sorry, I didn't say Danny's name. Her name was at her disorganized plans. And this is Monica at Penny Pincher Planner. The routine that I think I'm keeping, and it's quite honestly, it ain't me. It's my husband, is weekly movie nights. Ooh. I'm here for it. He's trying to do it because this year he decided to invest in this movie pass for me. But I'm committing to all movies. Either I pick them or not. Yesterday, last week, I, he took me to go see his favorite anime. Did I fall asleep? I fell asleep the first half. The second half, I totally loved it. I should have been awake. So I think I'm embracing all movies, no matter if I pick them or not. I love that. I love that for you. What's something in your planner routine that you're going to implement this year or that you're going to stick with this year? I am going to stick with the challenge of not planning like I'm used to. I'm going to accept that. that that I put stickers. I'm embracing that I will not put stickers straight. Washi will never be straight. I'm embracing the mess in the planner because the mess creates a beauty. Yes, it does. Okay. You know you call right on time, right? You yes. know what time it is, don't you? Yes, I do. But you're going to have to keep up with me because this week it was I wasn't on my best game. Uh-uh. I got, no, no, ma'am. I got notes. I got notes. All right, you guys. Yeah, you know what time it is. Them. of the Ultimate World Cruise. If you have not been following along, there is a cruise from, I think it's Royal Caribbean. That is nine months, and it's supposed to take the people all around the world. There are bingo cards and TikTok accounts and YouTube accounts dedicating videos after videos of the nine-month madness. It's mayhem, it's confusion, and it is chaos. I am here for it. And if yours truly makes it to Los Angeles, I will be there on the mic. I'm so excited. (laughs) I'm so excited. Well, this week on the nine-month cruise, we got a tick off the bingo board, right? That was on the bingo board. Of a word of a fist fight on the nine month cruise. Now listen, these people been on this cruise for two months, and they already fighting. I mean, Erica, they did run out of some wine, so uh, you know, do you blame them? <laughs> Said it again. They did run out of run out of some wine, and then they weren't able to visit an iceberg. The iceberg had to be delivered to them. So do you blame them? They got nothing to do. 
They ain't got nothing to do but fight. How about what I heard was that it was four women, three of them on one, and it wasn't even the right woman they were supposed to be fighting. See, that's that that's the part. Like how you how you forget who you how how does how does like like I don't know. I've been in girl fights. <laughs> we got a mutual hate for somebody. Like we we get that focus, we make that spreadsheet, we make the web, you know, we figure this out. How we the hell you got out. nothing else to do? Make the burn figure out the burn burn before you go beating someone. Okay, you got to figure out who it is. So apparently the fight was broken up really quickly and it didn't um it didn't last very long. I'm not sure if the women were put off the boat or not. Um, the boy Marky that I follow who tells me all my, my tea, he, I think he's my friend. His accent is hilarious. I don't know where he's from. I don't know. Like, listen, it sounds he's from, Irish. He's from England. He sounds Irish. Then he sounds English. <laughs> I mean, it is the, I don't know. I, I have to post a link or something because I'm telling you, that thing sounds funny. Yeah, listeners, if you guys need a playlist to catch up on this, DM Erica or myself and we got you because Marky, Marky be my, my drama for any kind of drama. He is. I found myself watching other stuff that I didn't even know I cared about. I'm like, what? Who 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 getting sued? Who, who thought they was getting yeah. blackmailed? Ma'am. Okay. Mm-hmm. So on the cruise, they also made it to a destination, and surprise, people want to get off. Um, guy, I think there's a married couple. This is the mess, honey, the mess. A married couple, I think their name was the Ultimate World Cruisers. And this guy looks like, to me, he looks like a Ken doll. Not handsome like a Ken doll, but made up and plasticky like one. Like he got too much Botox in his face or something. Um, but anyway, he gets drunk. Like the he swap goes, me Ken dolls. Like, you know, when, yeah. like, I, at least for me, like, you can't afford the real Ken dolls, so your mommy and daddy bring you one from, like, you know, <laughs> the 99 cent store, Dollar Tree. Yes. That's what the Ken doll he looks like. The Family Dollar Ken doll. Do y'all have Dollar General or Family Dollar out there in California? Yeah, but we also have swap me's, which are, like, indoor markets where okay. you get all the yeah. good, good. You get Adidas okay. without the, you know, double A, you know, yeah. Okay, yeah, I think we call those flea markets, but it's basically the swamp meat. Yeah. Um, so he gets high as giraffe pussy, mm-hmm. drunk as a skunk, and he goes on a rant about, oh, you can't blame society. I've had my run-ins with disgruntled cops. I've had this and everybody's in the chat section telling them like, Hey boy, this ain't, this ain't the one get on off. You're drunk. And so basically he's just let his racist uh, flag show. And so his wife is like, what, what's going on? Why do they hate you? He's like, yeah, it's, it's because, because we, we have responsibility and so the next day, you would think that he would get on and apologize. And, of course, what did he do? Nothing. He doubled down. He doubled down. Um, and you think I can get a like and a comment on my next video? So he's been talking about being able to use TikTok as an avenue for an income after he's off the world cruise. And I just don't see that. Now, Mm, um, I mean, there's guys, sides of TikTok where you can. I mean, not my side of TikTok, but I'm sure there's sides of TikTok where. Yeah, like the the racist side, of course, the right side. Of course. Um, now I don't know if you recall, but the first time that we talked about this cruise, we talked about there was um a character, a person named Brandy, who was on there, who said that they asked if she was the help. Yes. Coco was like, I don't know if I believe that. But now I'm like, mm, I could see someone like this doing something like that just to be a dick. Yeah, I could see that too. 
Um, Anthony Antoine has a video where he's calling them out and he's like, yeah, it's a lot different at 10 o'clock in the morning when you and your wife are saying hi to me, grinning and skinning in my face. And then at 10 o'clock when you're drunk, it's a whole different, different attitude. So I'm really curious to see, you know, what happens, you know, with this, because it can't be that many black people on the cruise. No, but I mean, it ain't that hard to knock over somebody if they're already, you know, drunk, you know. Allegedly, allegedly, there's we we've had a lot of you know there's Drake packages, you know. Yeah, all they, all they can do, all they doing is drinking. I mean, you mm-hmm. ain't got to drive nowhere, you ain't got to go nowhere. Their livers are gonna be so trash when they come back. Now, Erica, I'm not sure if you heard or I'm not sure. If if you saw this, but there was a guy who does not drink on this cruise and people were making stories that the reason he's not drinking is because he's an AA. But the reality is this man just chooses not to drink. And yeah, that's my boy because Anthony of the Antoine. Color, yeah. Because the color of his skin, people are making stories about him. Yeah, I mean... Just because you don't, I mean, I know people who just don't like to drink. Some people don't like to not be in control of all of their faculties, and that's okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, I married mean, somebody who doesn't, who's never had a drop of alcohol in his life. I don't know how he went through the military. I don't know how he's married to me and doesn't drink, but you know, <laughs> I'll pass it to him. <laughs> okay, he loves it though, you know. But I think that's good because you got to have somebody who's gonna keep that shit right. In a world yeah, full of chaos, you wake you need up to... the next day and they remember all of it. You know, it does change your choices, right? Um, I, I mean, I, I'm really interested to see what we are going to um check off on the world cruise bingo card. Now, I think it's time for a new bingo card because didn't that bingo done? I mean, are we doing black or are we doing just line up? Because technically the girl that's pregnant walked into this ship pregnant. So oh, I'm not yeah. sure if that's so that... a full check. Okay. So did she get off the boat? I, I I was at a planner conference, so I haven't seen that part. I can I next week I will send you if I find out the answer. Okay, well I'll be I'll be on the lookout. Also, I'm definitely, I'm, listen, I wasn't invested at first. I know y'all can't believe it. I was not invested at first, but now I am fully invested and amazed at the foolishness that is going on on this boat. Um, she, <laughs> I can't said, wait till, you know, the same people that say this cruise came, you know, this cruise is a world's cruise. There's people from other parts of the world, but a lot of the people that are making the drama come from like a certain part of the world that, you know, we consider not racist. So I'm very interested to see how certain certain media take these comments and how they justify the lack of racism in our country. That's going to be my investment this week. Okay, and I'll 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 definitely be on the lookout for your messages. Stacy says she knocks herself over when she's drunk, and she says, "Dude, don't make assumption about people like that. That's pretty fucked up." And I absolutely agree. I wouldn't ask nobody if they were a part of um, the crew or the help if they weren't in a fucking uniform with a name tag. Do you know how pristine? cruise ship people look at all times no matter how tired yeah. they are yeah. they are absolutely i mean pressed to the nines honey so i just i think it's it's really trash and he's a trash panda and but his wife also didn't stop him she encouraged him like ma'am what are you doing i mean i she, guess she know. was probably in agreement I mean, he was just spewing over and over about, um, oh, what notes do I have? It's everyone's fault but ours. 
it's just his privilege was exposed. And uh, I think it really takes away from the experience of African-American people and people of color. Let me not just say African-American people, but people of color and our experiences with the law. You can have an experience with the law. And we've all seen it with the dude who shot up the church and gave his bruh some some hamburgers or Burger King or something and ain't dead yet. You know what I'm saying? The dude who shot up the movie theater, he ain't dead either. Like, Thanks. So I think I I think it really tries to discredit what we have experienced as a people, and mm-hmm. um, you know I'm reading a book called The Reformatory that really you know talks about it, and I just read Children of Blood and Bone, and it I mean it, it all ties in together, you know, as we step into. Black History Month and just being more aware. Erica, on your on your TBR, I suggest Stamped. Let me write that down. There's a children version that is for children, but there's an adult version. The children version, I've read both. The children version is not for like littles, so don't think I'm going to be reading it to my two and three year olds. But um, the children version, I think, is a little more like an easier read the dull version is very like academic prone but it's very insightful okay i'll definitely check it out i'm not really a non-fiction reader i like to read and learn through fiction but Mm -hmm. um i'll check it out i mean um i'm i'm here for it you know i'll read just about anything um Especially, you know, to learn something because I like to learn. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little smart. I don't act like it. I don't talk like it, but I'm a little smart sometimes. sometimes. I think I think in general, this nine months cruise is a reflection of our society, and it needs. Even though you know we're here for this drama. There's also a lot of big topics that we can talk about. This, like this, can go go extremely deep if we needed to. Like I'm ready for ten years from now when someone writes, you know, a dissertation on this cruise. Like you know, it's gonna be in in psychology books for real. <laughs> They're gonna be like, once upon a time there was. I mean, to me, there's also should be a once upon a time about the flavor of love because I just think that more people need to know that there were women willing to fight mm-hmm. for favor fave. Um, they will never know. I the mean, joy. like at the time those, you know, <laughs> knock him over the hair with his clock and, you know, you get yourself, you know, <laughs> they will never know the joy of seeing New York chase after that girl who spit on her. <laughs> I mean, they just never know. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I think. It I mean, there's easy. housewife and then there's flavor play. Like you yeah. either team one or team two. Like I'm, I'm all for these housewives, but you know, I grew up on flavor the play. I need a little more. I need a little more drama. Flavor play. <laughs> and then, like, I I loved watching it because I could never figure out, like, is he going to, like, my friend and I, this came out when I was, like, college age, so we would play a drinking game if he would, and we would, we would like, take a shot every time the clock was switched. <laughs> it was fun because his outfits were, oh, those flavors. I mean, I- like I say, there are generations who will never know that uh, people, women were willing to fight over Flavor Flav. I mean, and so I many mean, of them became stars. I understand this mob woman, you know, era of clothes coming back, but you know, I'm here for, I'm here to dress like New York. I mean, I mean, you know. Oh yeah. New- That's my <laughs> era. Tiffany Pollard is a whole mood. If I can, yeah. wait, speaking of Tiffany Pollard, I was about to say that when I'm looking at gifts 
gifs, whatever you say. When I'm looking for mm-hmm. them, I'll type in Tiffany or Titus. And those are the two mm-hmm. that I know. Speaking of Titus, did you know that I just found out he was my cousin? What? My auntie sent us a text in the group chat that said, your cousin Titus invited us all down to some show he's about to be doing. Girl, and I almost girl you better go. <laughs> I almost peed my pants. I said, now, Auntie Minnie, why you ain't been told me that? I love this man. You need to go. Front row, front row, running, yeah, go sit there. Okay, I think the fun in is running a family. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Maybe, maybe you can bring him on the third. You guys can talk about being long lost cousins. Okay, long lost. No, I mean the fourth. Oh, I'll be like yeah. the, it's 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 my birthday, so it'll be like a birthday present for me. You know. Oh yeah, your birthday is Sunday. Yes, it is. Yes, it, it is, is Sunday. I'll be at Galentine's with the plan on Saturday. Um, and I'm really excited about that. And your birthday is Sunday. So I'll be sure to give you a super special shout out. Um, thank you. Thank you. I will be, show. I'm, I'm doing a PG birthday compared to my last year one that we were, you know, my husband and I took things international and went to support international women. Um, but this year we're, we're doing a G version. I will be going to Knott's Berry Farm to visit Snoopy and, on Saturday, and then Sunday, I will be going to Mickey's house. So I'll be going to Disney. Do you ever buy souvenirs? Because I think I want a souvenir from Disneyland. Oh, girl, I'd be buying so much stuff. <laughs> but, yes. <laughs> I actually, I, um, West Coast Planner, um, my table mate, my table friends decided we should all wear ears. And I took a picture Bless their hearts. They didn't know what I did because I didn't make this very clear. But I took a picture of four ears that I was trying to decide which four I should take. And the girls all decided that I should take all four. So we have a picture of all four of us wearing Disney ears that were all provided by moi. And my husband (laughs) told me, I'm glad you didn't take a picture of the duffel bag that you have of ears because you could have probably hit up the whole conference with ears. I was like, do you have that Thanks many ears? Me mm. I mean, I can wear them. Like, I wear them to work. I bring joy. I wear them to Dodger games. Yes, I do have that many ears. I love that for you. I'm going to see if I can find you some ears. Do you have any gay-ass ears? I actually do not have any. But for one reason and one reason only. I what? haven't found ones that I like. Okay. Okay, so I might have to look talk. into maybe you, that. It's because they're always, like, very bright, bright colors. And I like more, like, pastels, more, like, like muted colors. Um, but I need some bright. I need some rainbow ears. I mean, I have... Okay, um, for when I go to Disneyland during Pride, I do have rainbow unicorn ears that I wear. So those are my, like, they're not pride ears. They're really for children, but I wear them for right. pride because, you know. <laughs> because my they're choice. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll make sure that I look out that for that. I'm going to do that. Um, um, You guys, it's been a hell of a show. Thank you so much for everybody who called in to hold it down with me. Thank you so much, Monica, for coming to do the world cruise time. Uh, nah, my, my mayhem pleasure, segment. My pleasure, with my pleasure. Me. I'm glad I brought you to this dark side. Yes, you have brought me to the dark side. You guys, please remember to go shop the Planner Boss Collective sale. Go check out frolicandbrains.etsy.com. Be sure to use Erica Ormani 22 in uh, in the notes so that you can get one of our cute freebies um, and show our girl, if, JC, some love. And if you've gone to conventions with us, like I just came back from West Coast. My freebies were actually from JC. I know my buddy Erica has some freebies from JC for her goodies, for her table mate gifts. 
Oh, yeah. I'm really excited for everyone to see them. I haven't shown them. And I'll have one to give away again um, on uh, on the show. Um, so, I mean, uh, on Instagram. So I'm really excited. You guys, please also be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Erica, below. Sorry. Uh-huh. Sorry to interrupt you. Do you want to give away mine? Because I may have, I have an extra one. Oh yeah, absolutely. With with my because I added like candies and a pen too, so I'll have a a sparkle. It it's it it, it screams Monica. Uh yeah. Okay. That would be so dope. See a sponsor we'll talk yeah. to connect and figure out who we're sending this to. Um, make sure that you let me see. We'll figure out the stipulations and we'll put it on. Um, she'll tag us both. And then we'll be able to figure yeah. it out. I like that. Um, okay. So be sure to check out. Um, you made me forget where I am. Okay. Check out frolicandbrains.etsy.com. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, tell a friend to tell a friend, and give them the laugh that they deserve. You can go in my LinkedIn tree in my bio. You can buy a coffee, buy us a coffee to support the show. You can also, what else can you do? You can leave a comment. You can be anonymous if you would like. You can always DM me things that you think we want to talk about or you want to hear about. If you have a routine that you would like to um, share with me because I need all the help with the routines, please be sure, you you know, DM me. Tell me. Tell me, girl. I need it. Um, um, And I think that is is that it. All right. You guys, what are you, going, what, are you going live any points this week? Because, you know, I'm trying to follow oh. up my planner for this week. Oh, yeah. So <clears throat> usually Tuesday nights we are on sprints with um, big plans with books. On Thursday, and I put it in my planner already, so I'm going to show it. I am going to go live Woo-hoo! so that we can do our midweek check-in. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it scared, you guys. We're going to go live on Thursday so that we can do midweek check-in so that we can fill out our planners and make sure that we are staying up to date so we can get all the stuff that we forgot to do. That's what we'll do Thursday. Um, Saturday night, as usual, there is um, planner shenanigans where we just get on and shoot the shit, talk stuff, have fun, play games. It'll just be a fun good time. You guys, thank you so much for calling and listening. Monica, thank you so much for that reminder because I want to be scared. Ooh. All right, you No, guys. you can't be scared. That I think that should be everybody's challenge for this week. Since Eric Erica's going to do something scary this week, we should all on social media give Erica encouragement and do something scary out of our normal this week That's to give right. Erica encouragement for Thursday. Do it scared. Because, you know, we're messy, but we're definitely not malicious, and we're here for support and love. That's right. Keep it messy and never malicious, y'all. Have a good night. Bye. Good night. Bye.